Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. What if I tell you that using Python, you could actually build a very rich looking dashboard layout within your terminal. Yes, that is actually possible with the latest rich, which is also the name of the Python library update. So let's quickly go ahead and then see what is happening with the latest update. And uh, I would like to remind you that the developer Will McEwen has actually done a wonderful job in developing rich and uh, rich has been support uh, rich has been useful for a lot of developers so if you if you are somebody who is uh, who's using rich and you want to support this development please go ahead and uh, sponsor this developer but uh, otherwise if you cannot at least give a, st a star on the repo on uh, the github repository so looking at the developer so this is uh, the developer's profile so once again thanks will for making rich so rich uh, is a python library that helps you show rich text um, and uh, beautiful colorful formatting within terminal so what is the latest update is all about the latest update has got as the developer says first class support for building terminal dashboards so he, uh, you can actually read uh, this post which i would uh, link in the description for you to understand what is the inspiration for the latest development but uh, the idea is that uh, you would be able to build something that uh, looks like this or uh, the one that i showed at the start of this video just with a few lines of code so let's quickly go ahead and see some example and then we'll try to you know iterate on some code the the, the first example that i would like to show is um, the example that we just saw which is uh, using this code so let me open my vs code and then you can see the code let me first run it and then we'll see so as you can see uh, there is a title main header and then you have small uh, layouts so the way uh, rich works is let me close it and then go and then see um, the code so for example uh, basically the way you work is you define layouts so you have a main layout and from that you actually split the layouts so if you see this you have uh, the developer has sp split three layouts so let me run the code again you can actually see so first you have a header and then you have a, you have a, ma a main and then you have a footer and further you can actually see the way the main is split so now the main is split into side and body so if you have uh, ever worked with css you would also you know see a very similar pattern or uh, if you have worked with um, uh, usually uh, web development you would see a similar pattern where you take one row and then split into columns and then further split into uh, split them so that's the same way uh, rich works so once you have the layout uh, sorry at least a rich layout works so once you have the layout defined then you can create the items that you want to put it inside the layout for example do you want a panel so you can define a panel and then finally it will render panel or if you want just a text then you can uh, display a text so whatever you want to idly show or progress bar whatever you want to show you can add it and then finally you can just add update so the layout that you defined with the layout name you just have to update it and then you will uh, ideally get whatever you wanted so this is this is the way the code works so let's try a simple code and uh, the code that we are going to try is something that we got from the developer uh, uh, blog post and you can see this is the post and let's take this code and then let's try out so if you if you go to the okay let me fire up my vs code and see um, this is a rich sample okay i'm pasting the code you can see uh, the code i'll just explain you quickly so from rich first we are uh, importing console console defines you the basic uh, console uh, even if you are not going to have a layout console is essential for you to display text or whatever you would like to do so if you're familiar with rich you would probably know why do you need console and then we need layout so after you get layout now you are going to split layout into multiple parts so in this case we are going to split layout into three sections so one section or uh, the main section is the first you have got header the second you have got uh, main and third you have got footer and after you split that now you can do secondary splitting so this is a primary splitting so you have got three uh, mainly three layouts stacked together uh, on the screen and after that you have got uh, a side and body so now you're going to take the main this one and then you're going to split into side and body and after that and for body you are saying the direction uh, which is horizontal splitting and then after that you are going to say 
Okay, now take side and split into two different layouts. So here you are not actually specifying uh, the direction. So once you have this ready, let's quickly go ahead and then run this. So which is rich sample. And you can see that um, it has got. Yep, uh, let me run this again. You can see this is our update. So you have got a header uh, as we saw. And then you have got a side layout which is split into two and then you have got a body layout and then footer. So as we saw the code is defined like this. So first you have header, then you have the second section and they have the third section and you take the second section and then split into two. So your side and then your body. So then you leave the body intact and then you split side into two. So let's say that now we want to split footer into two. So what we can go do is we can go here and then say uh layout layout dot footer and we can split into two so let's run the code again uh, sorry the wrong code yeah now you can see that the footer has been split into two but what if we want it to be split horizontally so that's where we add direction so we say direction is equal to Sorry, we say split layout and within that split, we are going to say direction is equal to hurry horizontal. Save it, run it again. So you can see now it has been horizontally split. So we have a header, we have a, we have a header and then we have side body and then the footer is horizontally split. But what if you want to display some text, the footer um, other than, you know, just having this content. So now let's take a footer, say layout dot or let's say layout body and then update saying um, this is the body section. Um, press control dot C to exit something like this. So now let's run it again. And then you would see the text. This is the body section. Press control dot C to exit. So as you can see right now, you don't actually see that within within a, within a you know a box or grid. So for that, we can probably steal a little bit of code from the developer's original code, which is uh, let's say this uh, content. So let's create a new function. Here in this case, I want to create a new function that would say uh, define um, body content. And I'm going to say this is going to be a panel. Have we imported panel? No, we have not panel, right? So we can take the imports from here. Um, all these imports, we can take it. I don't need date time. So let's, let's leave it up. Yep. So once we have that, then we can look at this code and then try to take it. So if you take this code, put it here. Now that content is there. This is actual. It's not my own code. As you can see, I'm just taking it from the developer and then pasting it for you to just show how you render the content. So once you have this thing, now all you have to do is go to your layout body update and then with an update just call the function which is make sponsor message call it save it and then let's clear it run it and when we run it you can actually see uh, it says okay thanks for trying out rich consider supporting my work via github and then you know um, um, sponsor me and it is a hyperlink you can actually click this link um, i have to press command link so it says uh, do you want to open it open it and then you can see that the link actually opens and whatever what, whatever browser you use it opens that browser so this is the link that has opened so for example if you if you're building uh, if you're building a dashboard for your organization 
uh, that uh, you want to show some uh, live information you can still use rich and that information is available in the blog post so if you see the blog post there is there is a rich live class that helps you to constantly refresh the terminal window and it can get uh, data for itself so and you can see in this code also the code that we saw the developer has used uh, live so rich live you can see this the progress bar advances using that live class so to quickly check again so we can go and clear it clear it this is probably the last um, time we are going to see this code and uh, this so you can see these jobs so this is updating live and you can also see you know once the progress finishes this uh, application will itself gets closed so uh, this is the idea so you can either have a completely static dashboard layout or you can have a dynamic layout that gets uh, that gets constantly refreshed or updated uh, based on some other input that you have got somewhere else so you could it could be an api call you could be getting stats you could be showing something so currently it doesn't support charts but uh, uh, i'm not sure what is the development about it but if you want to just build something uh, you know with text hyperlink progress bar and uh, all the other rich elements that you usually see with uh, rich and rich layout is really really handy for you to do that and uh, i think rich layout is going to make a huge difference in the way people build uh, cli tools and it's uh, the api is very very simple so just to quickly um, see the overview you have layout and then you you split the layout from the main layout you split the layout and from the layout that you split you further split so primary split secondary split and it has also got a very good documentation you can have a look at the documentation and then understand um, where is the documentation let me open it quickly for you go to rich rich latest and within rich you see layout so it has got a very good documentation where you can see how to run an example uh, creating layout and uh, the basic nuances of it so how do you want to set renderables like uh, if you want to show something like a progress bar or text with a color and also you know it talks about ratio which one you want to do whether you want to keep a fixed size the visibility so and ultimately if you want to print the layout tree um, you can also print it for example if you want to print the layout tree so let me go ahead and then say print layout tree rich sample so i need rich sample so you can see uh, that uh, the tree object sorry um, console.print So you can see the tree is there so you have got uh, the main and then you have got header and within uh, after header you have got main and you have a side uh, within side you have two and then body and then footer is split into two so uh, if you actually want to see how the layout looks like if you want to if you don't want to be confused or you want to help other developers this is another place which you can actually use for documentation and all, all other purposes so again uh, rich is really handy helpful uh, i hope a lot of developers would use it to build uh, terminal based dashboards once again thanks thanks will uh, make you again for making this amazing library making it open source like i said if you like this uh, the, uh, uh, package please go ahead and then start the repository and if you would like to support this developers initiatives please go ahead and sponsor the developer it would mean a lot uh, and also give a shout out to the developer so thanks so much for listening to me uh, in this video i hope this was helpful for you to understand about um, rich and uh, what rich does and how can you um, build a dashboard layout if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise until the next video please stay safe take care